I'm with Steven Schwartz in the FitLinks booth, and he's got something really odd to show me here. <laughs> this is called the Amp Strip. It's a 24 by 7 heart rate activity tracker. Okay, now and those monitor. are a dime a dozen for your wrist and for your elbow and all that kind. Where does this one go? So this goes onto your torso. Uh, it connects with a adhesive strip, uh, which you place on the back of the device, and you can wear it for three to five, three to seven days on your body. So what, uh, for the audio listeners, he's holding something that looks like the size and shape of a Band-Aid, but it's actually got, uh, it's black and yellow and got an oval cut out of the middle of it. Right. Um, so. Uh, this has got all the electronics in it, and uh, it will include uh, an a, um, adhesive strip that you pull off after seven days of wear. So you can wear it while you're swimming, you can wear it while you're sleeping as well. Oh, so you can actually get activity tracking when you're swimming. So activity tracking and heart rate monitoring, um, primarily geared towards competitive athletes. Okay, so what does it measure other than heart rate? So heart rate, skin temperature, and posture. So uh, that's how we get sleep. So uh, with posture, we know that you're lying down and uh, you can track uh, different levels of sleep cycle based on your skin temperature. So what kind of activities though? So any activity, um, because it tracks but heart. I mean, is it have step count? Yes, it does step count. That's and what I'm asking. Yes. What, what other metrics? So we make another product called the Pebble, which is a, a activity tracker that you can put in your on your shoe and on your belt. And so all the technology from that product is in this as well. Oh, that's really, really interesting. And uh, I see you've got an Indiegogo campaign that's at 96% funded right now. Yeah, we're pretty excited about that. We launched that on Tuesday of last week. Wow. And we raised almost $50,000. Nice, nice. So when would you hope to get something like this out? So the beta of this, and that's primarily why we did the Indiegogo campaign, was to, to get a, a group of beta testers who could help us tell us what's the best way to get the product to market. Um, we haven't traditionally been a consumer company, so this is our first foray into the consumer market, and we really want to get it right. That's really, really interesting. I think that might be something where you're not going to lose it or forget it, right? I don't think so. Hopefully not, right? Yeah, we're a Fitbit, but everybody who's ever had a Fitbit has lost a Fitbit, too. Yeah, some of the alpha testers have found that once they've put it on, they don't even know it's there. Very, very interesting. Well, thank you very much. And how can people learn more about your product? So if they go to ampstrip.com, uh, they'll see lots of information about the product. There's also a link to the Indiegogo campaign from ampstrip.com. And how do you spell that? A-M-P-S-T-R-I-P. Great. Thank you very much, Stephen. Great. Thanks so much.